Hello, uh, I thought I'd do a, a short video just to show some of the records I bought during the last uh, couple of months or so. Uh, I bought quite a few but uh, this is just a small selection and I might do another video uh, in the near future show, to show some other records that I bought as well. Um, first of all, uh, you can hear playing in the background uh, this record which is possibly the best record I have bought in the last 12 months. David Crosby, if I could only remember my name, uh, is, uh, <coughs> the album is called, by David Crosby. Uh, what a superb album this is. This is a, a reissue and uh, beautiful gatefold sleeve. But um, the sound is absolutely superb. The songs are, are fantastic. I'm, um, I do like uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young and that type of music. Um, so when I saw this, uh, uh, brand, brand new, I thought, oh, I, I, I had to buy that. So I'm really pleased with it. But, and as I said, during the last 12 months, it's possibly uh, one of my favourite albums that I've bought. So very, very pleased with that. Um, the next album I'm going to show... Magazine. Uh, this is what it's called. Magic, Murder and the Weather. So... One of, the, one of my favourite albums as well during the last 12 months. Uh, I really enjoyed listening to this. Um, magazine are um, sort of a post-punk type band um, formed by uh, Howard Devoto who was formerly in the, the Buzzcocks. Um, so really pleased to buy that one. Uh, I've been looking out for more magazine albums as well. And uh, if I can get one in good good quality condition, I I will I will, uh, I will uh, at, at a reasonable price. I'll be um, that's what I'll be looking for uh, in the second hand record shops in the near future. Um, next one, I do like a lot of jazz, and uh, I do like Art Tatum. Uh, I, I really enjoy his style of uh, piano playing. Um, this one is uh, the Tatum Solo Masterpieces, it's volume 2. Um, I'm not sure whether there's probably 8, possibly 8 in the, the series. So I was lucky enough to find this and in, in pristine condition, uh, both uh, the sleeve and the vinyl, uh, really good. It's um, one of my favourite, I say, one of my favourite jazz pianists. Uh, next one I'm going to show is uh, an LP by The Stranglers called, this one's called Oral Sculpture. Uh, I do like The Stranglers, I've got uh, a few of their LPs, I haven't got them all, but I saw this one and thought well I had to buy it. Good album, glad I purchased this, and good, good condition as well. So. Uh, the next one I'm going to show is, well, this I wasn't sure what to expect, but I, I'm imported. I'm so glad I did, because it's a superb album. Joe Walsh. But seriously, folks, is the name of the album. I do like uh, a lot of Joe Walsh, especially his earlier albums. Uh, and this, I bought this, I think I paid £3 for it. But what a great album, I think, and in, this is such superb condition as well. Gatefold sleeve. But what stands out for me with this album in particular is the quality of the recording. Played on, on vinyl, on stereo. What a sound! It, it really is one of the better recordings I've bought uh, uh, during uh, the last few months. It uh, really stands out, as well as it being a great album. 
so much better to listen to it when it's recorded so well so very pleased with that purchase uh, next one I'm going to show quite interesting uh, for me this was Stephen Sills uh, just roll the tape Stephen Stills one of my uh, one of my favorite artists uh, I do like as I said Crosby Stills Nash and Young so when I saw this I thought well I had to buy it and quite interesting I think um, the story behind it is uh, actually fact I think it's written on the inside again gatefold And uh, on the inside, uh, there we are, it says, I was at a Judy Collins session in New York in 1968. And when she was finished, I peeled off a few hundreds for the engineer so I could make a tape of my new songs. Some you'll know, some you might not. The following fall, we made the first CSN album. And the tape has been lost to the wind for almost 40 years. Somehow it's found its way back and these songs now feel like great friends uh, when they were really young. So a great story um, as it says there uh, the tapes for this it was it's just a Steve Stills and an acoustic guitar just being recorded in the studio uh, the tape turns up 40 years almost later and then it's now on vinyl uh, really interesting and uh, I'm glad I bought it so that was a very worthwhile purchase for me um, just two more I'm going to show uh, this one is um, Fat Storm you know live at Montreux uh, the album is called Hello Josephine, recorded live at Montreux, Switzerland during the Golden Rose Television Festival on May the 1st, 1973. That's what it says on the back. Uh, and look at what an interesting, interesting record sleeve. There you see, there you see Fat Domino at his piano there and the, the remainder of the band all behind him really gives a, a great a great image of, of the performance good album I've enjoyed listening to that one uh, finally a, a, a record I've been looking for for a little while um, is one that I, was, I listened to quite a bit when I was a lot younger um, eventually I found a, a good quality record on vinyl in good condition the beat I just can't stop it really like this album um, sounds as good today as it did many many years ago when I, I heard it first so um, so that's the end of the video anyway I'm just gonna listen to my uh, David Crosby album isn't that some great okay I'll do um, another video uh, in the near future just to show some of the other records uh, I've bought but um, in the meantime thanks for watching bye bye